Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure the PlayStation 4 controller. So I should say, uh, the PlayStation 4 controller on Linux, I should say that in my post, I talked about PS4 DRV, a, a, D, a DS4 DRV, I think. It's a user space driver, it works really well with a lot of technology that's already in Linux to make the controller work better and work, work well. But uh, there's also the Steam configuration and what the Steam configuration does is it works on a lot of Valve's technologies and the settings that are already in the Linux kernel and all of that stuff basically to just make it so that your games work very well with it. So if you want to set up the PlayStation 4 controller to make it run well, and you don't use Steam, you should use the DSV uh, driver, but if you want to just get the PlayStation 4 controller working to play Steam games, just do the Steam method. You can even add games to Steam that aren't on Steam and it'll use a controller. But to start off, plug in your PlayStation 4 controller. And uh, you can do this over Bluetooth, but I highly recommend just doing it over USB because it's just more reliable. Uh, so plug it in, and I'm doing that to mine right now. And now as I plug it in, it's going to detect it with Steam, and I can click General Controller Settings here, and this will open up here, and as we can see, the PlayStation 4 controller is detected. The first thing I need to do is I need to check this button here to set up configuration support. From there, I can click on the controller, and I can click Identify, and uh, that will make it vibrate. I can then click Preferences. I can change the, the light on the back if I want it to be say green I can make it green or red or another color red blue purple pink whatever I want I can change the brightness on the lights and all of that this stuff you know rumble preferences and whatnot and then I click submit and uh, register it to my account or deregister if I want to use it on a different Steam account but once I click it to register it to my account like I just did it will automatically start using my PlayStation 4 settings and now I can control Steam with my PS4 controller. So now we can go ahead and start a game up and use the PlayStation 4 controller just to show that it works. So let's go. And uh, Linux support for the PlayStation 4 controller has definitely come a long way. The uh, DS4, DSV PlayStation driver that I cover in the article is definitely something to try out if you're having problems with the inbuilt driver and you want something to work in the user space but uh, as i said uh, steam is definitely the best way to go valve does a really good job you will notice like if you look at my game here it's showing me a lot of xbox uh, stuff but i am playing with the playstation 4 controller on my pc so it does it is possible it does work and it's really easy to set up so if you've got a playstation 4 controller lying around, you need a good gamepad, you don't want to go out and buy a USB gamepad, something I highly recommend doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.